We live. This feels so weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm a different human. I don't even, I feel like I need a new start to my YouTube videos. Hi, I'm a mom. Hello, I am a parent. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are healthy and safe and well. You know what I'm gonna say. If you're not already subscribed, pause this video and press subscribe down below. Along with that, hit the bell notifications link so you know when a new video is going live. Okay guys, so this is my first official video as a mother. Um, you guys will see in the most recent YouTube video, I guess before this one, um, I posted my birthing blog and we welcome Harper Renee Jefferson to the world. Um, I am now officially one week postpartum. Um, one week and one day postpartum. So I wanted to do a little update because I was getting a ton of messages of you guys just asking how it's going, how I'm feeling, what products have I been loving and what I, what have I been using. Um, but along with that, you guys know that I did get a C-section, um, planned for a home birth, but God's plan and it didn't go that way. Um, so I had a C-section, which is why we have a new setup because I am on bed rest um and i'm trying to obey and follow the rules so i can heal properly and be able to get back to normal life as soon as possible or i guess as normal my new normal should i say um so i'm here in bed with all of the realistic whatever i've been going you know dealing with so you see all my junk that i have every over here you see baby girl is in here but grandma took her so i could film the video um, but this is where I've been for the last week between here and my couch. Um, but I realized that if I stay in bed, I'm less tempted to like move around and do stuff. So my goal this week is to just stay in bed. Um, but yeah, let's just get into the video. How am I feeling? Um, I feel okay. I think so many people scared me about postpartum. Um, just of like you're gonna feel horrible you're gonna cry all day you're never gonna sleep though i am sleep deprived um it's more of like a good sleep deprived like it's for a good reason um i am more proud of myself than i've ever been in my entire life um just with the way that my birth went the way i handled it um i feel like i did i feel like i was superwoman in that in that instance um so i'm so proud of myself right now and i am so happy that harp and i are both healthy and safe um without you know any severe complications so i'm just grateful um so as far as me like feeling down on myself i know my midwife was like you know a lot of people when their birth doesn't go their way they feel like extremely like depressed and you know sad that things didn't go the way that they thought but i feel like it's 2020 and the way my whole life has been set up um things haven't gone as planned so i kind of just you know take it how god you know wants to do it so this is what was supposed to happen and we are here and i am proud of the work that i put in i am proud of laboring at home for three days and getting through that and still being okay to bring a healthy baby into this world i'm just proud i'm grateful i'm thankful um so i feel good um the hormones are you know a little bit wonky and all over the place but i haven't like had any cry spells or like whatever um i've been sweating a lot i feel a little musty i feel musty all the time um and i'm always hot but that's kind of like normal for me so it's not anything like drastic um but as far as the hormones go that's really it um my bleeding has been to a minimum except for when i'm doing too much so case in point another reason why i'm in bed um but i also from other people's stories i expected to like it to be like the floodgates 24 7 like just bleeding 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 sweating crying all this stuff and it has not been that for me um granted i do have a very very amazing tribe support system village whatever you want to call it so i have a lot of help um i also hired a postpartum doula my mom is staying with us until we get adjusted you guys know Shay and Lexi and everybody's here um, to help us. So, you know, and my husband is also like freaking incredible. And it's like, give me the baby 24 seven. Like I feed her and he's like, it's my kid, give her to me. Um, so that's great as well. 
um, and also tries to make sure I get as much sleep as possible knowing that he can't feed her but whenever you know we wake up in the middle of the night it's like I feed her and he takes her and said, tells me to go to sleep so um, th it is a different you know an adjustment to make but it has not been horrible um, so I feel good I feel as good as as I can and I feel way better than I thought I would even my midwife came over and she was like you look great and you know I've been showering daily um, and to me that's like my self-care type situation um, and taking the time I will say what you mom said about having a baby in the first shower that you take it's like you can hear a baby crying like even if the baby's totally fine so like I was so paranoid and I like rushed my shower and came out and nothing was even happening but I just swore she was screaming at the top of her lungs and she needed me um, but I've been trying to manage that better now um my incision hurts when I move around too much um, I actually was blessed enough to feel and be so okay where they let us out the, ho out the hospital after only one day. Um, I was up moving around and doing stuff. Um, not doing too much, but I just felt fine. Um, so they ended up letting us go home a day early. But when I got home, it was I still felt fine, but if I do too much, I start to actually feel my incision. Um, so it's kind of like my body telling me to like, okay, bring it in, sit down. Um, along with that, my nipples feel like, I don't even know. They feel horrible, but they're not like, they don't feel like the needle like they felt before because when Harper was born, she had a tongue tie. So, which meant the, the little like skin under her tongue, it came all the way to the tip so she didn't have any mobility in it. So she was like pretty much ripping my nipples to shred trying to feed those first two days um, but we got it snipped so it's way better now so I still feel like I'm recovering from that which is why it's still sore um, but just the typical first you know you starting to breastfeed feeling everyone's like if you get through the first two to three weeks you'll feel fine so I'm just waiting for that but until then I have like all the gadgets all the lan lanolin is that how you say it lanolin cream and stuff and I like just go crazy with both of them um, my boobs also feel extremely heavy all the time which is a blessing because that means my milk is coming in sis is getting fed she's gained a pound in a week and actually babies are supposed to be losing weight around this time so my midwife was extremely happy about that she was 614 when she was born and now she's 71 which maybe she might be more than that now we go to the pediatrician tomorrow um, but with that being said, my boobs feel like two bricks on my chest. Um, but I'm learning to deal with it. I've always been like itty bitty titty committee. So this is very different for me. Um, and I actually wanted big boobs all my life. But you know, it's always you want what you don't have. Because now I'm like, yeah, I'll take my little baby ones back. But um, yeah, I guess that that's what hurts the most on me. Everything else, I feel totally fine. Well, today is my first day back to work. Um, like I said, I am one week and one day postpartum. I am working from bed, from the bed. So I am blessed enough to be able to have a job where I can have that flexibility. And low key, my daughter is a part of my job. So having her with me and showing you guys the realistic, you know, whatever we're going through and what's going on um, is a part of it. So it's kind of like working without working, but you guys also know I love my job. So, it's not an issue for me like I feel better with me working um, for my mental health and my own sanity me being still and like staring at the wall and you know whatever I enjoy you know cuddling with her and all that kind of stuff um, but I want to do that while working at the same time so I feel good um, and yeah we're back it's a new year ready to go hard or go home okay she also has a birthday in two weeks, guys. I do have a birthday, but it's not a big birthday. So I'm like, eh, I don't know how to feel about it because I feel like it's all about Harper right now. Um, Favorite thing about Harper today, since obviously. <laughs> she's just so perfect. <laughs> she's just so perfect. I don't know, everything. Her fingernails, <laughs> her fingers, her toes, her cheeks. She has my one dimple on the side hair she smells great she's just so snuggly my how's cooper handling first week <laughs> guys 
Cooper is stressed out. He has been the saddest I've ever seen him in ever. Um, I think it's gonna take some time for him to get adjusted just because he's like, he feels as though he's been demoted. And this is me coding his facial expressions. He feels as though he's been demoted and he's just sad. And we do like baby talk with the baby and he thinks we're talking to him. Um, and it's just really sad. So, yeah. Oh, here's my kid. She has to make her debut. My name is her. Mom is singing to her. H-A-R-P-E-R. My name is Harper. She's sleeping. Renee. She just shut her eyes. My name is Harper. H-A-R-P-E-R. My name is Harper. H-A-R-P-E-R. Now she's going to stop saying that. I'm so thirsty. Turn off from singing. Yeah, I had well, I changed keys five times. Hi, Book of Blood. Okay guys, so here's my little boogaboo sneaky doodle booga sugar. Say hi, Tink Tink. No. She's a little bit out, you know. Say hi, booga butt. You don't want to? Okay, that's enough. Mommy, sorry. I know you smell the milk too. Okay. So yeah, guys, this is my new normal, my new life, um, and I am loving every freaking bit of it. I am the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. I feel great. Oh, I have to show you guys what else I've been using. Oh, I got my placenta encapsulated, that as well. Um, after, when they were doing the surgery, um, they told me when they had the placenta out, um, and then they bagged it and the person who did it for me, encapsulated it for me, came and picked it up from the hospital in the middle of the night. And then, I think it took her two days? Two days and she brought it and delivered it to the house. So, um, getting your placenta encapsulated is supposed to help with your moves, the hormone changes, and stuff like that. And I feel like it has. Um, it makes me a little bit, you know, jittery sometimes, where like, I don't wanna take it right before bed. Um, but just like any, you know, anything mixed with herbs and stuff, you want to, um, you know, not take it too late because it may make you feel a little wonky. We also didn't think the cost of getting your placenta. Oh, I thought it was going to be so expensive to get my placenta encapsulated and it was only 200 around $200. Yeah. Um, so if you guys want to do that, I feel like it's a good thing. It's something that my midwife and doula recommended and it's from the person who is in their like tribe of people. Um, her name is Nakia Lawson here in Dallas. Um, but wherever you are, I'm sure there's somebody who can do it and it happens pretty fast. I thought it was going to take way longer than that as well. So, um, look into that if it's something that, you know, you think may be of interest. Um, what else do I have over here? My Hakka, I've been using um, to get the letdown of the other milk. I have not started pumping yet. I am um, strictly breastfeeding right now, and I plan on doing that for the first six to eight weeks. I'm going to try to go as long as I can without pumping just so my milk can get regulated um, and it can only produce what she needs. Um, my doula told me that if I start pumping too soon, then my body thinks that she needs that amount of milk. Um, right away and then it'll just start you know whatever um, so I'm gonna wait a little bit it also helps with like bonding and things like that and I do enjoy being her sole source of nutrients and food right now just because it means like give me my kid if whoever's holding um, but of course at the same time I've noticed how my husband is like he kind of feels sad when he's not able to do it and it's like solely dependent on me so even when we were in the hospital and she would start crying or be hungry, he would like hand her, she has these dreams and she like starts like freaking out in her dreams. And I just can't imagine what type of dream she has. It's like somebody like stealing my nipple or something or like stealing her milk. I don't know what type of dreams a newborn could possibly have, but maybe something that happened while she was in the womb. I don't know. I don't think I had any catastrophic things that you know, happened there affected her but anyways uh, what was I talking about <laughs> what was I saying we were talking about breastfeeding <laughs> oh yeah we were in the hospital yeah postpartum brain 
uh, we were in the hospital and I could tell that he would get really sad when he had to give her to me or if I was like sleeping or something he would have to wake me up to give her to me to eat um, he just kept saying I'm just the useless husband that can't feed her I can't do anything blah 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 so he was like really hurt about that so it made me want to start pumping sooner but we're, we're gonna we're gonna try to hold out as long as we can um, for me to start doing that what else I got over here tons of nipple butter uh, moisturizers I have a lactation massager so it kind of breaks up the milk duts in your boobs because um, mine have been getting really heavy and stuff and she feeds so she's supposed to feed every two to three hours but she's kind of like every hour and a half um, and I don't know if that's just because she falls asleep during the feeding so she doesn't like get totally full or if it's because um, I don't know she's just a hungry girl like her mom um, but yeah so I have them a lactation massager to help the milk easily come out for her um, and tons of water to stay hydrated I'm supposed to pee every two hours because you have to keep your bladder empty for your uterus to be able to contract back to its original size I also show you guys where I am as far as my body and it kind of going back to normal um, normal um, being one week and one day so um, I have zero intention on forcing a snapback or doing whatever I'm gonna let my body do what it needs to do after creating this amazing miracle I am proud of it and I'm not gonna like put it through anything you know stressy to try to get my body back or snap back or whatever people do um, I'm just gonna let it do what it does and see where we are and maybe six months or whatever down the line is when I'll try to do whatever, you know? Um, what else have people been asking? Has your birthing experience changed your desire to want to have more kids? Oh no, I want a lot of kids still. We're already talking to Harper about being the oldest and bringing the next ones on right after her. Um, it has not, it has made me feel like a superwoman even more. So though I, st I wanted a big family before, and now even more, I'm like, ugh, you can do that easy. Easy peasy. And of course I know mothering is gonna be, have its you know, ups and downs, but I feel like the birthing experience made me like, you're really a superhero. Like women are really incredible. It's ridiculous what a body can do. Like even just being pregnant, her being here and like having a personality and like a like being a whole human being is just insane to me and then my body just going right back to okay like you had the baby now we're gonna resort back to where we were and that's just freaking insane um so it really made me feel like powerful and strong and definitely want to do it again now that being said another question that i'm assuming people will want to know is do I still want to try for a home birth uh, with my next kids um, I I am still open to it I think it's too early to say because I am a little traumatized by just the laboring process at home because everyone I don't really know anybody who's labored for three days um, five centimeters dilated uh, so that pain for that consistent amount of time, usually people are like 24 hour labor, you know, 16 hour labor, whatever, but three days at that level of pain, um, was a bit traumatizing. And then with me throwing up and being sick and stuff like that, not being able to keep food down, um, being lightheaded and needing fluids and stuff like that, um, that kind of traumatized me, but I, oh, it didn't have anything to do with being home. It was the length of that level of pain um so i'm still kind of regrouping from that <clears throat> um because after those three days when i got to the hospital i was like epidural me asap um and get some fluids in me because i felt like i was literally just gonna fall out after those three days um i'm still open to it but i am toying with the idea of like a birth center or you know even a hospital again because my hospital experience was nothing like i expected it to be um, i expected it to be like very traumatizing and just a lot going on the lights the screaming people not listening to what my desires were i expected that and with this specific hospital my midwife recommended 
they were incredible like they didn't force us in anything it was whatever you guys decide you know we'll move forward at your call um, and that was not what I expected so having that experience was like okay maybe if we can get this exact same hospital or whatever um, I would be open to coming here as well so I don't know I'm gonna play it by ear um, and just see how I feel when that time comes um, but it has opened my mind to a bunch of different options seeing that there are doctors and hospitals that do care about patients um, because with what I've been seeing and the horror stories I've heard and stuff like that I was very turned off um, from being in a hospital at all so now we just have more options to decide from <laughs> okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna share some photos um, at the end so you guys can see where my body is you can see some of the products I've been using we'll list them out for you guys um, oh one thing I did not mention is the my breast friend pillow is freaking heaven sent if you are pregnant if you plan on getting pregnant make note of it whatever but you have to get it um, my arms get so tired holding her and my doula always gets on me because she's like you want to have her in the right position when you breastfeed her at all times so she's not making your nipples go all lopsided in different different ways but it is a perfect way to just plop her on there give her the boob and you you have your hands free um, a lot of people that I follow I got the my breast friend pillow because people were saying that it's way better than the boppy I think that's the name of it um, and I haven't tried the boppy but this this my breast friend is freaking amazing like it is the best way especially with cluster feeding and stuff it's the best way to to have the baby on there and still be able to use your hands and do other things because they're at your boob 23 hours of the 24 hours of the day so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more uh, postpartum updates um any just mommy type videos as i learn i have no idea what the heck i'm doing um but i have a lot of good people that i'm learning from and you know i like to take you guys along the journey as well um you guys have followed me from college to now to work all everything um so i am open to sharing this learning experience with you um like i said i don't know much but we're gonna figure it out and keep this baby girl healthy and happy so she's gonna get held as much as she wants she's gonna get the world and the works but make sure you guys are subscribed on instagram facebook pinterest twitter all that stuff make sure you're subscribed on here for more videos i love you guys peace out